what's up everyone first off I want to thank you for clicking on this video taking the time out of your day to watch this video I truly appreciate it and in this video I'm going to be talking about how I got a job in cybersecurity right out of university I do have some notes in front of me if I'm looking down at any point I'm just looking at my notes without further ado let's begin all right so just to lay out the general outline of what this video will talk about first I'll touch very briefly of how I got interested in cybersecurity and why I wanted to transition into it Second, I'm going to be touching on my big break, right? As in how I finally got my first tangible professional cybersecurity experience. And lastly, I'm going to be talking about how I landed a full-time cybersecurity role right out of university, right? At each point, I'm going to be touching on lessons learned, and I think they'll be very valuable for someone who's along the same journey. So firstly, why did I transition to, or how did I know that I wanted to get a cybersecurity role right out of university? Well, I started with, so before I studied computer science, right, I studied criminology. I always had an interest on like the security side of things in software. So when I was studying computer science, the subjects I found more, most interesting were those that related to software security. Whenever a new vulnerability would come out, you know, I would research it a little bit and see, okay, how did it happen? How was the attacker able to, you know, exploit this? Whenever a company would have a data breach, I would be looking at the report of that to see how did it happen? What information was the attacker able to get, et cetera, et cetera. So while I was studying computer science, I was just so intrigued by the security side of things that I knew right away that, you know, either right out of university or whatever is the fastest that I can get a cybersecurity role, that's where the direction I'm going to head towards. Now, my first big break came when I got an internship at the Department of Defense in Canada, right? The pay wasn't that high for this internship, and this is an important point to note, and I'll touch on why this is important in a little bit but I still worked my tail off at this four month internship. And at the end of it, I got a certificate of recognition and I was the only student there to get this certificate of recognition for my hard work. Now, what did I have at this point? I had professional cybersecurity experience from this internship. And I also had a tangible item to show off on my resume or otherwise to let employers know that I have a decent idea of what I'm doing. That being, you know, the certificate of recognition for my hard work. So here is the most important lesson that I learned from this, uh, which will hopefully be valuable to you as well. Don't undervalue experience, right? This internship paid me, I think around $16 an hour, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. And while that's definitely not bad money, I've heard of people, you know, at big tech companies getting internships and they're making 40, 50 plus dollars an hour. So had I compared myself to those people, I would have felt, you know, quite bad about this opportunity that I'd gotten, but experience is so valuable like money is good but experience holds a lot of value as well getting this internship you know i was able to leverage this experience and again the certificate that i got into a full-time role right out of university that paid six figures right so just because the money's not there now don't let that discourage you keep working hard and never 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 underestimate the value of experience right look Money is good. And if you have two roles in front of you, which will give you about the same experience, but one pays more, of course, you know, take the one that pays more. But if you have a role in front of you where the money doesn't look very enticing, but you'll get to learn a lot, don't undermine that and don't feel bad about that. Take that, run with it. Hard work will pay off in the long run, right? Now I want to touch a little bit on how I was able to get just this first opportunity, this first internship in the first place, right? So my, my approach to job search and all of this is quite uh, unconventional, I would say. I know some people give the advice, you know, you should tailor your resume this way and reach out to people on LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera. I tried all of that. I tried reaching out to people on LinkedIn. I tried, you know, creating specific uh, cover letters to really express my interest. But the approach that worked best for me, in all honesty, is just the shotgun approach where you your resume should, of course, be tailored to the job uh, opportunity. If you're applying for like a customer service position, you shouldn't be talking about how good you are with technology, you know, so I should relate to the job posting. But, you know, I made a general, you know, software engineer, cybersecurity type of resume, which highlighted my relevant experience and education. And then I just applied as much as I could. So I, that's, that's called the shotgun approach, I believe. So I applied as much as I could, as much as I could. You know, I would hear back. I heard back from the Department of Defense Canada in this case. Um, you know, I did well on the assessment that they had sent out. I did well on the interview and I got the role, right? And then I leveraged that into the full-time role, which I'll touch on next. So now, again, at this point, I have professional cybersecurity experience and I have a tangible item to show that, hey, I have a rough idea of what I'm doing. At this point, what I did 
was I, I still hadn't graduated university, by the way. So I was still in university and I just started applying lots. Right. So, again, with the shotgun approach. But now I can highlight this is cybersecurity experience that I have. And here's a certificate to show for it. And by leveraging this experience, I was able to get a call back from the company where I'm currently working at. And in the interview process, I was able to highlight. And again, I feel like I sound like a broken record, but I really want to emphasize how valuable this four months of experience was in the interview process. A lot of the questions that came up, I was able to answer them and relate them back to my, my internship. Right. So they would ask me, you know, say your um, colleague is struggling with something and they ask for your help. How would you prioritize this? Well, this is something, a type of situation that I had faced at my internship. So I was able to answer exactly how I dealt with it. Or they would ask me some sort of security concept that I dealt with at the internship and I was able to answer that. Right. So that experience was so valuable. It helped me answer the questions, you know, that came up in the interview for my current role. And from there I landed the current role. What's the lesson that I learned from this? Number one, don't fear rejection. I can't even begin to tell you from, you know, my internship search to my job search, how many times I've been rejected. Like if I open my email right now, it wouldn't surprise me if it's over 500 rejection emails. I applied so much. I got rejected so much. It's borderline, not even funny, but recognize all you need is one. Yes. For your life to change, right? The moment that kind of sunk into my head, I was, I was never scared of failing an interview or anything like that. Again, of course, I still get nervous when I go into an interview, just like anyone else. But I know that it, it would just be foolish of me to at least not try because one, yes, could change my whole life. And it did right in this case, I was a student making basically no money. And I get this enticing offer right out of university for six figures. And now I'm able to, uh, you know, finally get like the martial arts lessons I wanted, finally able to improve myself in, uh, in other ways, finally able to support my family, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So remember, all you need is one. Yes. So don't fear rejection. Always try, always go for it, work your butt off and you will succeed. And yeah, I, th I think that's really all I have for this video. Again, it's very simple, like many things in life. Things are simple, but not easy, right? So to summarize all of this, just get that first, get your foot in that door or get your foot in that door somehow, right? Experience, experience, experience. It may not, the, may, if the pay, maybe the pay is not enticing, maybe the company's not enticing, but just get your foot in the door, get that professional work experience from there. Keep on applying, keep on trying. You will get that first yes. And with every yes that comes your way, things get easier and easier. Once you have one, year of work experience, you know, some recruiters are going to start reaching out to you like recruiters reach out to me on LinkedIn sometimes at this point, right? Once you have two years of work experience, probably even more, once you have like 10 years of work experience in this field, well, you know, you're going to have recruiters reaching out to you left, right, and center. The beginning is always the toughest. And there's this hump to get over. Once you get over that hump, things do get easier. And that's really all I have for this video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please like comment and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.